Guys, I'm finally back with another video. I know this year has been a really, really crazy, you know, not just for me, but for, I suppose, for everyone in this world. Um, first, we have COVID-19, right? And then my idol, uh, Kobe Bryant, who I grew up, you know, watching, just passed away in January. I was, uh, you know, I was just devastated. And then uh, now we're seeing, you know, escalating tensions um, in international relationships. So it seems to me the world is really, really uh, chaotic at the moment. Overall, I just hope you guys are staying safe and healthy uh, throughout this period. And now with I think we're almost nine months, ten months into the fight with the pandemic, right? And I don't know for how much longer we're gonna be in this uh, lockdown state. And gyms are still closed in uh, many places around the world. So I think some of you might be struggling to get your workout in, and some of you might be, you know, seriously considering picking up regular exercise just to improve your immunity which uh, is very, very important, you know, at a time like this. So in today's video, I'm going to uh, introduce you guys a home workout uh, that targets your shoulders and chest. Uh, this is totally equipment free and you can basically perform it everywhere. The workout per se is very simple and straightforward. It consists of only two exercises, which are push-ups and air shoulder presses. But what makes the workout interesting and challenging at the same time is it follows a pyramid structure. If we take a look at the pyramid here, both sides are numbered. It goes from 1 to 9 on one side with the number 10 on the top. And then it goes down from 9 to 1. Each number here represents a step and what you want to do is you want to climb all the way up the pyramid and then go back down. You can think of each number as number of sets. At the bottom it says push-ups times one and air shoulder presses times one. It means at each step you perform that number of sets of the exercises. For example, if you're at step one, you perform one push-up and then one air shoulder press and then a step two you perform two push-ups followed by two air shoulder presses and then step three three push-ups and three air shoulder presses and so on and so forth you work all your way up to the top set which is the 10th set here and then you start going down again so by the time you finish the workout you would have done 100 push-ups and 100 air shoulder presses already. The workout is also very flexible. Say, if you're a beginner and you want something less intense, you could just go for 5 sets, which is totally fine. Or if you're a person at a more advanced level and you want more intensity, you should definitely aim for 12 to 15 sets. You could easily adjust uh, the intensity of the workout to meet your own needs. The key of this workout is really you take no breaks in between sets and exercises. For example, once you finish doing one push-up and one air shoulder press, you go immediately into your second set where you do two push-ups and two air shoulder presses. These two exercises might seem very easy to you at first. But if you combine them and you take no breaks throughout the whole workout, you can feel these exercises can really give your shoulders, your chest, and even your triceps a blast. So you should definitely try it out before you jump to any conclusion. Personally, I've been using this workout ever since I learned about it. I like it very much because it's so simple, very convenient, and highly flexible. I will use it whenever I don't have access to a gym. So do go give it a try yourself and hopefully you'll like it too. If you find this video helpful, do give me a thumbs up 
and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more contents like this in the future. And lastly, I really want to thank you guys for your continuous support over the years. I'm really glad that my first video has been able to help many of you guys and has recently got over 10,000 views. I know it might not be a huge number, but it surely is a milestone to me. I'll keep my contents coming. Maybe not in the near future, but they will come eventually. I'll see you guys very soon.